right, we're out here at Churchville Park Disc Golf. This is sure to be not a good time. This is generally an easy course, some generous pars, but as you can see, my putting looks phenomenal. It's too early to have a beer, but should have had one for the way this round went. Hole one, 338. They kind of changed this, they uh, moved the pin, added a Mando, you can see it there on the left. So you can kind of like hide her out by the road and just try to throw it straight, but everyone that's ever thrown a frisbee knows how the fuck you throw it straight. So I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, let's see how it goes. Hmm. Yeah. So luckily the tree saved me from not missing the man though, which is very good. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I played like absolute dog poop this round. It was embarrassing, it was terrible. So I did take more than one take on some of these shots just to get a video that was at least somewhat entertaining. So there I'm going with my Sexton Firebird. Know it would fight back, reaching around the tree, set me up with an easy putt. But really, I probably should have bogey on this hole, but you know, I faked it for the video because you know what? I'm not good at this guy. Then moving on to hole number two here. This is 338, same distance, uh, totally different shot. You can go like a hyzer to the right. You can go a forehand. I'm going for a roller. Let's see how this is going to play out. Gets it down, but it just doesn't get up and it just keeps going the wrong direction. Way to go. Good job, Dave. Oh, um, man. If you see, I'm really pumped there. So I'm actually past pin high, past it. So pretty good distance on the roller. If it curled up the other way, I would have been in a great spot. But I'm just going to get up to the basket. A little Anheuser AVR shot. Not a great throw, but it, it got me there. Should be a putt. Foot fault. Good job, Dave. Killing it. It also was like 25 degrees this day, so that, that makes it a little bit tough too. But we're even. Quote, unquote, even. Hole three, 233. This is short, but the basket is really protected. See, it's around all those trees when there's, when it's all the leaf on the cover, leaf cover the trees, you can't really see the basket that well. So it's really just like, like a forehand shot. You wanna like skip under and get over to the basket. I'm going with my destroyer here. I've been working on the forehand a lot. Just thinking, just put it out there between the trees and the tennis courts and fade out for you. See, I'm really trying to take my time here. Don't want to screw this up. Let's see. Probably a little bit high, but fading. Not bad. If it, if it was lower, you know, it might have got a better skip toward the basket, but at least I'm putting. That's good for a forehand for me. So we're probably just outside the circle here. Oh. Ooh, dropping expletive there. I'm really disappointed. Could have been a burry. But instead, it is a... Now, the next hole, which comes after three, which is four, if we're keeping track at home. Uh, it's par four on U-Disc on the computer, but par four, three on U-Disc on the app. It used to be a four. Now it plays as a three. I did it as a four because you know what? I could use the Ego Booster here. Tee pad's super wet, so I'm just gonna tee off next to the basket. I do that a few times in this round. And let's go. Yeah. You can tell it's a bad shot because it went out of the frame. So another one. If you keep track at home, that's uh, what? Not a good tee shot yet. So I got this approach. I'm behind this tree line, but luckily I should be able to hyzer it. Just fade in. Good. Let's skip up. Nice. Good to go. I like it. Should be an easy putt here for a birdie if we're playing it as a par four, which I am, because if you're paying attention at home again, I'm not going to disc off. Oh, wow. Good job, me. Off the pin. Off the band there. So now there's my tap in par, which should be a bogey, but it's not because, you know, whatever. Next one is also a par four, 449. Plays real weird. There's like this row of trees. You have to kind of like pitch it out. 
kind of a weird shot, or maybe a shot I don't necessarily have, like a roller or a turnover. I believe I'm going to go with a my beast there. It's a little bit flippier. I'm going to try to turn it over and crank on it. If I hit it right, that means maybe we'll get something good. And it's, oh, it turns over too much. It spikes into the ground. Ate up a decent amount of distance, though, so that's fine. I should just have a nice little pitch hyzer into the green, which is a shot that lately has been working really well for me. So let's see if this one does. And it looks like it does. Beautiful, good little roll. I actually uh, missed the uh, tap in on this, but that's a birdie, Only one under. Good job, go me. Pull six, 331, par three. This is one of the more difficult touchy shots. Uh, you want to just kind of go up the gut with something really straight. Uh, you could try to go for a big hyzer out to the right. I just tried to throw it straight. Air bounced it. Didn't get enough turn on it right to the tree. Tree kind of helps, kicks it back into the middle for me. So that's good. Thanks tree. Second time the trees have helped me today. An unusual turn of events. So just a little pig. Just pitch it up there the basket. Keep it on hyzer. Should be all right. Dust the wind, pushed it up. That should be a makeable putt. Deep breath, keep it together. And all right. We got a par. Now we're going to be moving on to hole seven. From this part point on, the holes get kind of small. 279. It's kind of straight. Uh, this is an interesting one. It's kind of like two, where you could throw a big hyzer, or you could throw a turnover, or you could throw a roller. I'm going back to that forehand, because my backhand was garbage during this round. So I'm going to take my time. 279 is a distance that's achievable for me with a forehand. And I think there's more airspace to the left. So I just put it over that road. Let it fight back. Kind of wide. Could skip off the road. But there you go. I mean, circle two. Whatever. Should be an easy par for there. I don't think the road plays OB. But, I mean, it would, I guess, if it were a tournament here. But this is not a tournament. I'm only playing myself. A battle, I always lose. Look at that confidence in that disc. Waving it all over the place. <laughs> all right, another par. Two holds left. So keep track at home. Negative one. 249, hole eight. This is another just straight shot, I think, is really the only play here. I think you probably could try to skip a hyzer or a forehand left or right, but I just go putter. This hyzer feels like a rhino right at it. And it should be pretty gettable for me. Just, you know, I don't know if it didn't flip up enough or I just didn't throw it on the right angle, but that's another outside the circle, circle's edge putt. <sighs> I mean, you can already guess I'm not going to make this because my putting is just phenomenal. And, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm, dink. Everyone's favorite sound. Another uh, par there. See, I'm really, really excited about disc golf. And we're going with the nine, 217. Now this one's kind of, it says par four, a typo on there, my bad. Uh, there used to be a whole bunch of trees. You can see all the stumps they cut out, made this hole a lot easier. So now it's just like straight shot, flex shot, maybe a little bit of hyzer, I go with my pig. I'm standing in the way. Typical of me, I'm always in my own way. And that puts me circle's edge. And uh, if you've been paying attention at home, still, hope you are. Circle edge putts are something that I am just dunking on this round. Bet you I don't make it. <laughs> what was that? It was pathetic. And then I'm going to tap it in for uh, one under or none. I'm going to be honest with you, this is a horrible round. I didn't film the rest because I was so disappointed. I didn't edit this footage for like two weeks because it just sucked. I was pissed off. Um, I played like shit. 
I read through almost all the tee shots to get something uh, playable. My action score should have been like four over. But you know, that's disc golf. If you don't want to cry like every third round or sooner, you're not playing disc golf. So there it is, guys. Churchill, front nine. Uh, I'll probably do a back nine video eventually. But uh, maybe I should focus on learning how to throw a frisbee first before I showcase my skills on the internet. Because uh, I'm not good. So this is Narpar Production. I'm Narrench. Thanks for checking it out. Feel free to subscribe for more Rochester disc golf videos. And you know what? Screw you. I hope you throw it right into the first available tree. Happy disc golfing.